Okay, so we're going to take Drony off from here, from right in the middle of this dog lead. Now this is just a reflector, black reflector. I've uh, got dog lead over the top of it. Sorry if I'm making a little bit of noise with the microphone, but I've not really got a lapel on which to hang it. So we're just going to put Drony up there now. And when you go to take off, make sure you hear the audible home point has been updated. Get we're started. Off. We'll get rid of the wind warnings. Has been updated. So Please we've got the, the home point has been updated. So I'm going to go up about 10 meters. 12 meters. And we just let Drony take it in for a second. And let's go forward and up. And I'm going to go a couple of hundred meters away. And start videoing while we're doing this. Now, so I hadn't been videoing the point. So I'm going to send Drony a couple of hundred meters in that direction and we'll just go up out the way a wee bit, make sure we're way, way, way above the trees and we'll just come that way and we'll get the camera down a little. Now these are the lagoons of Musselburgh. On top of the, the lens today I've got a ND16 filter on and I'm flying pretty much at right angles to the sun. So we're about 250 meters, we'll just go a little bit further. And then we'll turn, I think, just there. So we're 370 meters, 390, I'm going to stop at 400 meters. That's 400 meters distance and 120 meters in height. And now we're going to bring it back home. Now on top of the, the drone, right in front of the drone, we have a little button here. Press it once and hold it. Go home. And it says go home. Now Drony will hopefully remember exactly where it was when it took off. And if he has, he will come back and land back on the reflector, back on the, the lead. I'm going to turn the camera down on Drone. That's 200 metres away. Still 120 metres in height. And we're just looking at the ground as we come along it. And I can see it now. And the, the problem with Drone is, it's such a small... Oh, directly above me now. It's such a small uh, drone less than a kilo in weight that once up in the sky especially the sun's out now landing it has pretty much every chance of disappearing so we've got the camera pointing straight down and i'm going to move back out of the way but i don't want to confuse it and the moment it looks like it's doing pretty well it's it's lined up directly in the middle of its sights so fingers crossed now if it goes forward it's over here and back it's too far back but at the moment it looks pretty good the ND16 filter that I've got on is uh, really Really quite good, and now we're, now we're coming pretty close now. Looks like it's going to get this straight on. Now, me will stop and see not a suitable landing place. It's really bizarre if I leave. Okay, so it's saying in front of the screen right now. I'll come back into your view. So, you may or may not be able to read that. It's very clear here. So all I'm going to do is bring it down. I'm not going to do it. It's just hovering there right now. And if I bring, let's close this little box. See, okay. And I'm just going to bring that right down. I'm not going to steer in any way whatsoever. I'm just going to bring it straight down and see how well Drony managed. So I wonder how well he did. And I think you'll agree that's pretty accurate. 
it's possibly an inch to the right or maybe two inches to the right from where it took off so well done Rory. Camera's down, bring the camera back up. So, well done, Drony. Pass marked.